Hi everybody, it's Alexa. And it's daytime! I mean, it's Johnny. Hi, how are you? I know we look bright for once, because we're not filming this at like 11 o'clock at night. We're not filming at 11 o'clock at night. You have a bedtime, because you're a little baby girl. I don't have a bedtime. Bedtime. How are you? I'm good. I, I got I'm books. You want to go first? Hold on. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, I wonder why this tastes so good. Sprinkles, it makes you tingle. Scat that, da 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 da. Oh crap, there we go. Now, I finally got sponsorship. Well, semi sponsorship. Um, Sprinkles Water, it, they're a company from Zimbabwe. It's pretty good. Water tastes kind of. I'm going to laugh if Zimbabwe comes after you. <laughs> I soaked as a prime minister of Zimbabwe. Oh my gosh. Ketchup tuna. What's his name? Very nice guy. Anyway, it <laughs> tastes kind of... Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I got books. They're good books. Did Just I take... take it out. I'll take it out of the uh, book casing. It's not a... It's not. That's it. It's all you're getting. Mm. Well, last time, people thought the one you held up was Mockingjay because of the symbol on it. Oh, God! Son of a... Because that's the symbol of Mockingjay, so I mean... Oh, well, it's not that, so I don't really care. That's all you're getting, though. See that? It's a bird! Okay, there's not really a bird like that in the story. Okay. I got it. Okay, <laughs> he ate the crow. <laughs> That's an inside joke between us about the movie The Crow, because one day he was trying to tell me about it. It's an amazing movie. I didn't really want to listen, so I just said, he, he eats the crow. the crow, right? <laughs> and I have no idea, but I thought it was really hilarious. Uh, Alright, so, I've been trying to read The Dark Tower, but I got caught up with other books, so I brought over, and I'm going to read these. I think I should already showed one, but I'll show it again, because I'm that awesome, I can show it twice. There's the Gunslinger Born from the Dark Tower, Stephen King, associated through Marvel Comics. Ah. And then, um, I just got this for Christmas. I haven't, I might have shown this, but I don't really, like I said, I'm so amazing I can show things twice and you guys are still interested because it's me. Bookmarks are still coming, by the way. Just smile and nod, everybody. Why are you even here? Because <laughs> it's kind of like, well... No, Excuse me, mind. I'm in the middle of something. Okay, 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 stop. Oh, it's okay, I forgive you. You're special. You're special. Just keep talking about your books. Dark Tower, The Long Road Home. I like the back of this one. Roar! He's horny. I think, you, I think when you showed this book last time you said that. But I'm so amazed I can get away with saying the joke twice. You can say it twice. twice. Okay. All right, now on to books for me. Is it safe to drink this water? Yes. Oh, well, I know. So I got a UK copy Zoom of... Zoom water? Right? Would you try no. not to cut me off as I'm trying to say something? Oh, try. It's really hard. I know, right? It's really hard. <laughs> All right, so I got a UK edition of Hollowed, which I really, really wanted. And thankfully for Liz over at Planet Print... She was able to go to the UK site because she lives in England, and they had this one in stock because sadly they don't have it in stock when you go into the US version of the book depository, which makes me sad because Loretta from Between the Pages had gotten me the UK copy of Unearthly. Get I back, think, Loretta. I think in like October of last year, so I really wanted them to match, and I'm so happy that they do because now they'll be on my shelf and they're beautiful and they match. You it's should, a big thing to me. I like it when they match. You should have got two of them. My life. You can frame them. So now they can sit on the shelf together and they can match. It's beautiful. Matchy, Don't matchy. Okay. And then for kind of a little bit of a story here. Wait, which one is this? Is this one word or two words? This is two words. Is it angel or angel so, fire? Okay. So I normally read two books. I read a book that I read at home. Not the same time, though. Not, no. Well, not like. 
No, I don't have one book in one hand and one book in the other and be reading a sentence from each one at a time. That'd be a bit confusing. It's confusing enough to hear her talk sometimes. That's kind of mean. Sometimes. Because you have so much to say. Just anyway. Just kind of. Happen chance. Move on. So, I'm reading a book at home and I'm reading a book at work because that's how I like to kind of yeah, cause she reads my at work. stories. But, this week, I've been reading Angel Fire two words, two separate words, part of it's the sequel to Angel Burn. How they both know it's two words when it looks like one word itself. And then, I'm also reading Angel Fire one word. Oh, word. I get it. So you see, every time I talk to Johnny now about these stories, since I'm reading both of them, I have to say Angel Fire one word, word. or Angel Fire two words. And we don't say that anymore, because that was confusing too, because I was like, you're... If you say Angel Fire one word, you're also wait. Like, how many times do you say one word in every sentence you have to talk about? That's wasting precious moments of your life, okay. and you don't know how long you're actually going to live. So then we decided Angel Fire years. one word is Angel Fire, and Angel Fire two words is just A angel. angel. That's what I decided. So that's how we're differentiating. My I've headaches. Already had these books; they're not new in my mailbox books, but it's just a funny story to tell you because that's kind of what's been going on in our life this week. Now we can go back to actual IMM books that I did get. Have you noticed you're talking really loud? That or it's just like the headache from the whole debacle kind of got to me. I think the headache from the debacle got to you. You don't even know what that word means. You don't know what the word means. I can spell it at least. Mr. Writing Major. <laughs> Alrighty, so I had a coupon for half price books, which is normally, you know, they just mark books down to half price, so this was four dollars, and then I had a coupon. What? I got a coupon at half price books, they usually mark down books at half price. Really? Really? Okay, not every not everybody has a half really? price books. And some books are more than just marked off half price. Some books are actually like marked for five dollars even though they're normally like a twenty dollar book. So they do have books that are like on clearance even that aren't just half price. They're more than that. But at least they're marked half price though to begin with. Okay. So this book, of course, was half price. And I've been of wanting course. to read this one. I've heard a lot of different bloggers who run kind of adult blogs talk about this one. Um, it's A Lady Awakened. And so I'm kind of excited to read this one. The book was not in the best condition. I mean, it's got some flaws on it. But I figured, you know, for like $3 I paid for it, I would give this series a chance. $4 too much. And then next up today, I just went to the library to get some books. And see, I ordered a copy of City of Ghosts, but this was kind of before I read Unholy Magic. And once I read Unholy Magic and really got into Unholy Magic, I realized I really, really did love this series now and that I would want book three. But I ordered book three and book four to come on book four's release date. So they won't be coming until like the first couple days in April. And I just couldn't wait that long because I need to know what happens. I'm in love with chess and terrible and I need to have more of them. So I put this on hold at the library to read it. And then hopefully I'll read book four. Possibly from NetGalley if it's still up on Ooh. NetGalley by then. Did you tell them about your stealth ninja moves in the library? I know, I just like ran into the library, you know, they had these on hold <laughs> under my name. So just ran in there, grabbed the books that were on hold for me and... Ninja checked, Vanish! Checked them out and I was out of there. So, and this is actually pretty cool. It looks like kind of a pretty darn new copy from the library. I mean, there's no breaks in the spine. There's, Rootin' tootin'. There's, like, nothing on it. So it's, like, a really, really good condition library book for a it book that was published in in 2010, I, I think. That's it was published so in long ago. So they must have bought, like, new copies of this one and put them back on the shelves now that this series is getting its fourth and fifth book published this year. Rootin' tootin' new. I think the sixth book might also be published. Does Rootin' tootin' version. actually work to describe that? Rootin' tootin' new? I have no idea. Have you ever used that word in a sentence? No. Try it sometime. Okay. Say it at least. No. And then the other Root book I have on hold at the library is um, the one that I want. This is by Jennifer Eccles. Um, I've only read her. Wait, she writes Simone? She related? No. Simone Eccles? Jennifer Eccles? Am I even thinking of the right person? Yeah, but it's oh, Simone okay. Eccles. You kept saying Eccles, then again, Jackie, you can't speak English, didn't you? Okay. It's cute, though. So this is the newest one that she came out with. Um, I think, I'm pretty sure it counts for my 2012 um, Contemporary Challenge that I'm doing with um, 
Angela at Reading Angel, and Katie, I think, at Katie's book blog is hosting that one, so I have to read five 2012 released contemporary books, and I think this is one of them, so yay for counting for a challenge! Plus, I did like Jennifer's um, other book that I read, which was Forget You, so this one looks really good. I see you riding downtown with the girl I love, and I'm like, forget you! <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a pretty good book though. I like that the print in this one is like kind of bigger and it's not a very long book so it shouldn't actually take me too long to get through this one. You know what all they saw? Maybe the kind of bigger print but to them the print's really blurry. Yep, See, still kind of hazy. I know, it's really kind of hazy. Okay, anyway, not important. Everything's important. Okay, that's everything. Well, not everything. Well, I don't think you want to know our life stories. No, what are we doing tomorrow? We should at least tell them that. Tomorrow I have to go to work for eight oh, hours. Oh, for Christ's sake. No! <laughs> I need to go to work for five hours. No, what else are we going to do? I don't know. What are we doing? Mega death! I'm taking her to her first metal show. Mega death and Motorhead. Don't you tell him I'm so excited. You should be. What happens if Dave Mustaine's watching this? I don't. That's that's right. I doubt he has time to go follow book blogs. Dave Mustaine's amazing. To he could be quite honest with you. He does like nine hundred things at once. He's raised by wolverines in the woods. Oh my god! Seriously. Okay, guys. Well, I guess that's it. Um, my birthday's on Monday, by the way. Just saying. I mean, I'm. You can wish Johnny a happy birthday. Yay! All right, so we're gonna go now. Woo woo woo! Take care and spike your hair, bro. Bye, everybody.